Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. We'll talk about common mistake people make when replacing fuses, relays that can cost you quite a bit of money, guys, and waste of time as well. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair, guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 5 Series generation 6061. This is the 5 Series BMW from year 2003 to year 2010. If you guys have one of those, you have a problem where the radiator fan does not work, stay with us, we'll explain which fuses you need to check. Always do that first before wasting money on parts you don't need and what else can cause radiator fan not to work. All that will be covered. In addition, we'll talk where you can buy cheap uh, parts, tools, fuses at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste your money and why it's important to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have BMW 6061, that generation 5 series, we'll be making a video about every possible fuse and relay. Why? To save you time and money. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse blows out. What do you need to do? Okay, it takes forever to find where it's located. It's so complicated, you may have even multiple fuses. And all you have to do, come to our channel, search for it, and you'll be able to find that video, watch it. And in less than two minutes, you replace the fuses, you're back on the Road. Something else guys, every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you guys how to fix pretty much anything. Engines, transmissions, why we do that? Because our mission to shop is to save you money guys. We have more than 11,000 videos on our channels that can save you quite a bit of money. Now, uh, if you guys need to buy parts to use for your BMW or any car, we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money. And if you need to buy cheap fuses, relays, anything for your BMW, links will be shared as well. So let's continue now. So we'll demonstrate on a 2008 BMW 5 series that we have right here guys. Okay, which fuses you need to check and what can cause the radiator fan not to work. You guys have uh, three different fuse boxes in this car. Uh, we'll be working today in two of them. The first fuse box is on the inside, on the passenger side. So go ahead, uh, open the glove box inside. The glove box compartment, probably full of papers and stuffed with things, empty. On the back side guys, you have that rectangular cover right here that attaches with two turning knobs on the left and the right side. Turn them 90 degrees, remove that cover, behind it you have a hidden fuse box. Before we continue guys, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find find out for sure if it's good or bad. The same thing for relays guys, okay? Uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars, so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays. And for some certain fuses guys, it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them, otherwise you can burn the electronics. And uh, for instance, working on airbags, fuses or anything like that, you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery. And if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system, I will never recommend to do that guys. Uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost is $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. So here you have the radiator fan fuse, the main fuse that you will need to check. If that fuse is blown, your radiator fan will not work as well. Here that's fuse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Fuse number 9. That's 60 amp fuse, that's the one that you will need to check. That's humongous, that humongous fuse. Then you need to guys check the coolant temperature sensor and thermostat fuse. That one is under the hood. Pop the hood open and come on the passenger side. This is the fender on the passenger side, windshield, shock tower. Here, remove that trim cover. Once you do that, you'll get to the white electrical box. Open it and you will be in shock. That's probably the most wires you've seen lately, guys. Here, you will need to find that 
fuse block that consists of five fuses. It may be located on the left, right side towards the back, but it will be somewhere in this fuse box. That block of fuses consists of five fuses. The second fuse is for the thermostat and cooling temperature sensor, very important one. But check all five of them for peace of mind. Other things that can cause guys the radiator fan not to work could be a bad coolant temperature sensor, okay? Bad radiator fan, we have a video that explains how to test radiator fan on BMW. Could be bad engine computer or signal wire going from the engine computer to the, uh, to the uh, radiator fan. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.